Uh, so the first person we're going to be looking at here is Gamer Inc., uh, which we'll just we'll just read what she said in her Discord message. Uh, hello, I'm Gamer Inc., and I have my self-named channel on Twitch that I stream on three days a week, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 to 11, and Sunday, 3 to 9. You have a big stream on Sundays, uh, CST. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube under Gamer Inc. 83. Currently working on growing my viewer base and trying to expand my content creation on YouTube. I have a small but strong following of regular viewers, but I feel like drawing in new people and retaining them is a bit difficult. I do variety gaming, so I don't have a single game to focus viewership on. Um, I have been streaming for two years in January, but I've been uh, really been focusing on my content and growth over the last year. My goal is to grow my content to a point where it could forego my second job as supplemental income as I have no intent on in going full time. I would welcome any feedback as far as content, branding. You make your own graphics, which is crazy because they're always so beautiful. Yeah, we're starting on Gamer Inc. Yep, yep, yep. Um, audio, etc. Okay, so you would welcome any feedback as far as content, branding, uh, audio, all of that. Okay, let's get your Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. She is an amazing person. She she really is. Yeah. So okay. So consistency is not. I don't. I don't. I don't think consistency is a problem for you. Um, consistency might be a problem for you in other content, but I'm not. I'm not sure yet. So just looking at your at your Instagram. Your Instagram um, is really good uh, because we get to see who you are, right? We get to see that you're kind of a huge dork uh, just by looking just by looking at this quickly. But then you have other things, right? So, okay, so it's just like looking at your Instagram page. If I saw this, I'd be like, okay, cool. So this person streams. She's a cutie patootie. So like just by looking at your Instagram, I already know, okay, you stream, right? Um, but then you also have like these the lighting, the stuff in your background. We can see that you're into Star Wars, you're into WoW, right? Um, right away. Obviously, your tattoos are typically on display too, which is really cool because that's something that kind of uh, starts conversations. It's stuff like, oh, people want to know what that tattoo is or whatever. So you can have that in your in your pictures, maybe a little bit more too, right? Because you want you want people to be engaging, you want people to be asking you questions. So if you have something like you know the story of your first tattoo or something on an Instagram post. And then, and then, then potentially asking people what theirs are or whatever, you get more engagement. And with the way Instagram works, the more engagement you get on that Instagram thing, the more that it that it goes, right? Gamer Inc. The name says it all, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, you think you have more tattoos further down? Yeah, this is really far down. I love that one. That's your that's that's your newest one, right? That was the newest one you got. Just finished. Yeah. Okay. I love this. Um, but if you you only have one reply on it, right? And also you're you're just looking at this is an old one, so I, I don't want to focus too much on this. But uh, you have very little hashtags. Okay, so let's look at your Twitch tracker. This is when you've been pretty consistent. What's crazy to me is Mondays are typically your busiest days. Um, is there somebody that hosts you on 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 Mondays? Because you're averaging some days. You're uh, what is what game were you playing here? Doom it up, My Little Pony style. All right, so you're playing Doom, 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 Doom. You know what's crazy about Doom? Doom is not a very, uh, not a very stream friendly game, um, because you can't really, you can't really hang out with chat. You can't really talk to chat. <laughs> it's funny too, because you have Animal Crossing and Doom in the same, same bit. Is Monday in general not the most views days because the week starts? Yeah, no, it's actually, it's actually one of the lower days. Monday is actually one of the lower view days. Highest recorded number of concurrent viewers: eighty-four total hours streamed, six hundred and seventy-three hours. Yeah. So darkest dungeon is your most at 102 hours. Uh, I mean, this is, this is great. This right here is really good. I mean, you're, 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 you're doing exactly what you need to do, which is this is constantly going up, right? You're not seeing any dips at all. Like it's just, it's just going up and it's going up the more and more you go. Um, and that's, what's weird about streaming. And you'll see this is if you're streaming a lot right at first or whatever, you're going to see this trend of, um, uh, your hours streamed and you'll see a return on an investment the following month because most viewers, most viewers need to come back. They need to come back. They need multiple, multiple impressions of you before they, before they become a regular viewer. So they'll, they'll come back, which is why. So for instance, here, you'll see that your January hours were really high, right? You streamed, you streamed some of the most hours you ever did in the, in January, 2020. Uh, but your views didn't really go up. In fact, they went down the following month. Um, and you also streamed less in uh, in February, right? That's that's interesting. But you also shot up 
in March, which means like the the return on investment, like those those people, you know, hung out a bit. They started, you know, they came in and then they all started coming back. But then your hours went back down. Right. Discoverability on Twitch is garbage. Um, you will not get discovered on Twitch. It's it's basically impossible, especially if you're doing variety gaming. If you're doing variety gaming, you're going to you're just going to get smushed all the time because the more views you have, uh, the more viewers you have. Right. If that makes sense more more people that are currently watching you but also i mean think about the fact that you're in the top 1.78 percent of twitch so the way that you grow on twitch then especially if you're variety is you need to grow elsewhere you need to grow on other platforms if i always raid per creek and he's going to start having a lot of the same viewers as me if he's always streaming after me or whatever right like let's say he starts right at the end of my stream i always send my viewers over there yeah he's going to have way more but if i'm like, which is what I do when you randomly raid and host people that are currently live or whatever, when you end and you try to diversify it and send out people to other things, um, they're probably not going to stick around, especially if it's at the, if they stream at the same time as the other streamer that they were already watching. It's really hard to do. I mean, you are playing a lot of darkest dungeon and I'm willing to bet that most of your audience, that your highest, your highest, uh, streams, your highest viewer streams, probably the most engagement streams as well. Our darkest dungeon am i right so one thing that i would recommend if you're a streamer is to look at your vod views and if you have an abnormally high vod views i was having internet issues oh okay all right um that sucks sorry if you uh, if you are if you are a, a streamer and you look at your vod views and some of them are really high uh that's a consideration to to maybe see if you can reuse that content that vod um because for whatever reason people are attracted to it right so for instance, this one here has eight views, uh, which is which is some of your highest. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but on Twitch, on Twitch, that's like that's kind of that's good. Um I'd I'd look at these. I'd look at these and wonder why. Right? And I think it's because people are invested in your darkest dungeon playthroughs and not necessarily in your other playthroughs, um, which is which is just something to consider. You have Snickerdoodle, you especially, you have a large enough audience on Instagram where you you should be getting paid. Um, and I recommend Social Blue Book. Social Blue Book, if you want to see what your what your posts are worth. Um, it's a really good, it's a really good site for that. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to back to Gamer Inc. So I mean, if if a, a Patreon isn't like the worst thing in the world for you to rock, um, I think I think that some people would would end up would end up choosing it, and the return is way better than than subscribing on Twitch. I think my biggest okay, so let's let's summarize what I've said. <laughs> so the biggest thing, Gamer Inc., that I think I think you should be doing to grow your audience right now is to is to have um to have a plan and a schedule for all of your different content, and you want to be reaching out on as much content as possible. Uh, the big, the big one that I noticed is Twitter. I think Twitter is where you can do a lot of stuff where I think you need to do a lot more. Um, I think you should be announcing when you're live every time, but you should be doing it in a really fun way. Uh, I think that your YouTube channel definitely needs some work. I know that's hard to do because you, you work full time, um, and you busy, but that is the way that you're going to get more viewers on Twitch. Uh, you're not going to get more viewers on Twitch by streaming on Twitch. It's just not, it's just straight up not going to happen. In fact, something that I would potentially recommend, um, and this is this is like a totally personal thing and it's up to you but i would recommend streaming on multiple platforms potentially i would even say like you know full time of course it does oh yeah um i think i think that you guys should i think i think potentially you could try streaming on multiple platforms that that really is up to you i think youtube has a better way of finding people a better search algorithm um but if you are if you are able to post content regularly on youtube that is pushing people to your Twitch, I think you're going to be in a fine place. Um, your streams are already pretty good. You just got to get people into them. Right? And obviously, the more things you can do on stream that are fun, the better. More stories you can tell. More uh, more, more show ideas. Try to think of your stream less, less like, uh, I want to sit and chill and play video games, which I think you're already doing. And think of it way more as like, a, I want to try to do a show um whatever that is right like it's not fun when you go to someone's house and they're playing video games right unless they're playing with you in which case that's different but but typically it's not it's not you want to go to their house and, and like you know do 
you want to be a host you want to do whatever get them snacks and shit um so yeah that would that would be my biggest thing get a schedule going get content out on as many platforms as possible go from there all right next up we have rick tater himself uh hello all my name is rick and i'm a part-time gamer full-time dad that's something i want to talk about will remind me I stream on Twitch four days a week after family's in bed around 9.30 CST, hopefully earlier someday, and upload videos, highlights, guides, reactions to YouTube occasionally. I try to use all the socials, but mostly use Twitter for thoughts, updates, or Instagram for memes and laughs. Uh, so so I really like his I really like his bio because it tells me actually a lot about him, a beverage and Taco Bell. I have a passion for a good beverage and Taco Bell. I can talk about Taco Bell all day, right? Uh, I'm a husky man of many interests. Um, a full-time dad. So it's actually unbelievable the relatability value that a that a that a streamer dad has on the platform it's actually unbelievable streamer dads are great broxamar is a streamer dad so the 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 streamer dad is actually a very very it's a niche and it's a it's a strong niche it's a very strong niche on twitch um because there are so many dads that are watching twitch and and wish yeah devin's a streamer dad of course um, Ath is a streamer dad, uh, but they don't really, uh, Ath doesn't really like make his content about the fact that he's a dad at all, but they could, right? They not, not make their content about the dad, but have that be one of the values that they have, right? Their audience's value is also, they will find a large audience that is also, that is also wants to be what, like wishes they were a streamer dad or whatever, but is in the, in the normal way of life, right? They're not, they don't get to pursue that streaming career or whatever. Maybe they don't want to, but like, they still want to see that. They want to see the dad that's able to play video games all day and still have a, you know, still have a job in a, in a, in a, 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 a life and a family and all this other stuff. That's actually super important. If you are a gamer dad, your audience can be gamer dads. Like it's a very, it's a very big audience. Look at Dr. Lupo, right? Um, so I, I, I think this is great. I really, I, I think that's a, I think that's a good one. All right. Let's look at his Twitter game though retweet no pin tweet let's get a pin tweet going i want a pin tweet with a link to all your shit um i also need a, a business email for you in your description um it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're not if no one's emailing you if no nobody's emailing you need it so literally just downloading this clip and then re-uploading it to twitter makes this uh, makes that going live tweet way better especially if you're playing like if obviously try to theme it like if you're playing monster hunter try to do this also, you need to raise you need to raise the volume on your mic a little bit, Rick Tater. Uh, I don't know if anybody else raise the volume on your mic a little bit. Oh, he's hosting me too. Look at that, dude! All these guys doing great work hosting hosting me. Um, you gotta raise you gotta raise gotta raise your mic there. Gotta raise your mic. All right, oh, so like. I don't. Oh, I think I made. No. No, you fucking did it! God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> That should be on Twitter. That's great. My mouse doesn't like working. That's so good. Why is that not on Twitter? Listen, take that, post it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Look at Gamer Ring in his chat. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. But like that needs to be used. That's great. That should be on Twitter. Okay. So as a streamer, let's say, let's say I'm a pop, I'm, I'm a streamer. Um, and I go on Instagram because I want to see what other streamers are doing on Instagram, right? Who better to start with than arguably the the biggest streamer of all time? Let's click on Ninja. What is Ninja's Instagram? Oh, it's garbage. It's actually not very good at all. It's all promotional stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's not. It's not very good. This announcing he's going back to Twitch. That makes sense, right? A new chapter only on Twitch. It's Ninja. He doesn't need to tag it. But like you know, the point is, right? Why not? Just just a gamer. He's got a Don Perignon Ninja edition. It's fucking ridiculous, by the way. But it's all brand that's that can be fine that can be fine that can totally be fine if you're if your vibe if the value that you have is consumerism if you're if your value is look at all this cool shit that i have my fucking name on right that's dope that's super cool but like all of it feels like it has a layer of film behind it right or a layer of film between it and like none of it feels like legit he's not using he's like successful he's successful on instagram because he's successful elsewhere He's not using his Instagram successfully, if that makes sense, right? Harris Heller is successful on Instagram because he is using he is using Instagram successfully. He knows how to take a decent photo. Uh, he's not posting regularly. This was five weeks ago. His last upload was five weeks ago, right? 
But like that is dope. That's a really cool picture. This this is great. That's so that's so good. He's using these things successfully. Even that composition is dope. That's really neat. Like this is really cool. I love this picture. Well done, friends. Right? Keep up the fight. So I think I think that you know, for Rictator, you don't want to be looking at you don't want to be looking at just people's Instagrams because they're streamers. Uh okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, your thumbnails need a little bit of work. For one, like this reaction would have done better. Um, I like your react. I like your 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 face in this, but I would have liked if I could have seen you a little bit more. Really successful reaction videos I've noticed have had like a, a an entire quadrant of the of the thumbnail is literally their face. And a good rule of thumb for thumbnails is you have three points of interest on any thumbnail, right? So, um, Final Fantasy ending reaction uh with rick's reaction here that's three things right or easy pve builds he's actually got too much there's like i would do like that arrow with melts needs to be bigger and then and then, you know what i mean and like and then lose lose whatever's down here in this little bit and be the character this right here easy pve builds and stuff like that that's gonna make um i like i like you face um that's i like you face uh that's gonna make that's gonna make uh that's gonna make this a lot better I feel like a lot of the things that worked for Gamer Inc. is true for Rictator as well. But the biggest ones is I'm just not seeing enough of his creations. I'm not seeing enough of why this content creator is good. And I would also recommend, same same that I said to Gamer Inc., I would recommend a Patreon. Just get it up. Have an explore more of the dad theme. Yep, I agree with that. I want to see more about, about that the dad life, dude. Like you have you have a very, a very specific opportunity, very niche opportunity to to explore explore what it means to be a gamer dad like, i wouldn't be surprised if videos that document your journey as a streamer dad uh i wouldn't be surprised if videos like that is something that would do well on think of it like a like a little uh, uh like a personal journal but the big the big thing for me is your social media i think you're i think you're i don't want to say you're using it wrong but it feels like you're not using it to its full full extent fact you're not i mean you're just not um I want to see I want to see more of that. I mean, you are you are retweeting the right things like you are you are retweeting really, really awesome people, really handsome people, people that uh, anybody would be honored and lucky to to be around. Um, and I think that's that's an important thing. And like, you should definitely keep doing that, like definitely keep retweeting awesome people, uh, people that just, you know, make your make your thighs quiver. Um, I would keep retweeting them. But other than that, I think I think that, yeah, your 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 Twitter and your Twitch needs some work. Like really, I, I the football, the football, the, dude, you're you're like such a you're such a dad, you're such a dad, um, and you can you you know who else is such a dad and doesn't use it all the time? Miles, Miles is the fucking like Twitch dad, like he is he is my Twitch dad. You know what I mean? Like just the way he presents himself, the content that he has, he's so wholesome. Like, to play up that, play the wholesome up, right? I know this isn't about Miles, but I just thought I'd point that out. Richter's, I think Richter's the same. Like, I want to, I want to see more of, of what this is. What is this life? 